Right now, the Lorain County Habitat for Humanity racing at breakneck speed, rebuilding apartments for displaced families. Our Meg Shaw caught up with the group today. Meg, how did these families lose their homes, and why is Habitat getting involved? Well, Dome, in June, city officials from Lorain voted to demolish four nuisance and unsafe motels. But families living in these buildings said they have nowhere else to go and no other landlord in town would allow them to rent. But that's all about to change. As of midnight tonight, Robert Windham will be homeless. Today is the deadline day. He lives in one of these four apartments scheduled to be demolished later this year. And we believe every person deserves a decent place to live. That's why the Lorraine County Habitat for Humanity organization is racing the clock to renovate the former Bruce Towers. We have been out here probably 14 hours a day. It's now day three of renovations. Employees and volunteers are repainting walls, installing cabinets to replace the dilapidated ones, and laying carpet for the new occupants facing homelessness like Robert. Well, they have no place to go otherwise. We want to be part of the answer. Habitat, along with the AIG properties in the Lorraine County Catholic Charities, agreed to place 10 residents currently living in those motels in this building, waiving their first month's rent and security deposit. But Habitat workers told me the rooms needed a lot of work, <laughs> costing thousands of dollars. Thinking about maybe even 10 to 12,000. Even though Robert may not have a place to call home for a day or two, he's grateful for Habitat. It's a tremendous help what, what they've done. I just can't say enough good stuff about them. Now, Habitat told me they plan to have all 10 rooms completed by tonight so that those families won't be without a home, a project that really should have taken them 10 days to complete.